Hey, it's Bob Nagin. And in this episode of Real Retail TV, you are going to get an actual session from the Retail Success Summit. You'll see why being at the Retail Success Summit will be one of the best investments you can make this year. Tickets to the Retail Success Summit are right now on sale, only $497. That is the super early bird special. So right now, watch this 20 minute session where Susan is going to show you exactly how to plan all of your marketing uh, for a month in only one day. This session is only 20 minutes long, but I guarantee you, you will get an enormous amount of value from it. Enjoy. marketing in one day a month, not do everything that's, that is in your marketing in one day a month. But this is how you can manage the process in one day a month and get everything ready to go so that your team and, and, and you later on in the month are set to go and, and you can do the work effectively and efficiently. So first thing you have to do is you have to schedule yourself a focus day. This is Bob's calendar, he's in blue. He has two focus days set up there. You can see them all scheduled in blue. You need to schedule yourself a focus day, okay? We teach the retailer's time system, free time, flex time, focus time, and floor time. Focus time is the time when you are not working on the floor, not managing your people, not doing any other work except for the focused work that you need to be doing during that day. So it's money-making activity day. That is your focus day. You have to put it on the schedule. Not just hope that you're gonna scrounge one up next week sometime. You have to schedule it. So that's, your, that's step number one. Schedule a focus day, a full eight hours. Then your next, once you're in your focus day and you're at your desk, whether it's at your desk at work, whether you're gonna do your focus work at home, whether you're at Starbucks, I don't care. First step is you're gonna review your annual marketing plan. And you're all like, I have an annual marketing plan? Well, you should have one. We teach you how to make one in the retail mastery system. And if you need help, you can come to the Marketing Mentor Program Live. You gotta get this stuff planned out ahead of time. But you're gonna review it. You're gonna spend about 15 minutes. That's the first thing that you're gonna do is review your marketing plan for the month. So this is an example from January. Um, you've already got it scheduled out, week one, two, three, and four in January. And you're gonna review, you're gonna look and see, do I still like this plan? Did I need to add something? Am I gonna take something away? Did something disastrous happen that I need to change? So you're gonna review your plan and make sure that you've got everything set, you've got an idea about everything that's gonna be happening for this month. Like you've got some direct mail going out, there's a beach blanket party bingo, uh, a beach blanket bingo party coming up, you've got some club meetings, a newsletter, gonna update your website, all these different things are gonna be happening during the month. And then you gotta decide who, what, who, and when. And these are really three critical components. What's gonna happen? Who's gonna be responsible for it? This is really important. Who's gonna be responsible for it? The responsible person doesn't need to do all the work. They just need to be responsible for getting the work done. And when is it gonna happen? So, what, who, and when, all right? So you're gonna start, once you've reviewed your annual marketing plan, I want you to start with your sales events, promotions, and classes. 
And in your Retail Mastery System, we have a promotions planner that you can use, or you can do something like, this is a promotions planner that Sarah Harrison, one of our Platinum Mastermind Group members, has created that she, she calls it her vision paper, her vision page for every single one of her events. And it's very simple. She writes down the purpose of the event, her goal for the event, the details of the event, how she's gonna promote the event, what she needs to do before, during, and after the event. So every single sale, event, promotion, or class that you have scheduled for the month, you need to create this document. Now think about this just for a minute. Once you have this documented, now you can easily hand this paper to lots of different people and say, Sarah, you're in charge of this piece. James, you're in charge of this piece. Bob, you're in charge of this piece. But you've done the work to plan it out, and it's your vision for this event that gets then executed and implemented. So you need to make sure that you've written down here, again, what's happening, who's doing it, and when is it gonna happen? And you can see that Sarah's done that on, on her document. We figured giving you two hours to do this. So if you have four promotions, one a week, that gives you a half hour to create the document for each one of these events. Does that seem reasonable? Yes? Yes. I think so. If you have fewer, it'll take you maybe even less time. So we're at two hours and 15 minutes so far. We've reviewed the annual plan, and then we've created our documents for our sales and special events. Next thing we're gonna do, okay, if it ain't written A-Real, right? You, have, you can't just think about it. You can't just go sit at your desk and say, I'm gonna think about those events. No, I want you to write it down. And there's a lifetime value to that document. If you're gonna do that same promotion again next year, just think how much easier it's gonna be because you have that documented. There's a promotions planner in your retail mastery system or you can create your own like Sarah did. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is you need to decide on your email content. We recommend that you send an email at least once a week, so that's four emails. And again, we're gonna go back to this list. What are you gonna send out in your email in addition to the email content that's promoting those sales, events, uh, classes that you've just, you've decided. So, Week one, if there's an event coming up, you have to promote it. Are you gonna send out a, 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 re a product review? And maybe you're also going to highlight a, uh, an employee of the month. So that's what your email content's gonna be for week one. Week two, so you sit down and you, you don't have to write every single piece of the content during this day, but you need to decide what you're gonna send. We do this exact thing, same thing at, at WhizBang Training. What's gonna be in the tip of the week, the first week, the second week, the third week, the fourth week of the month? We plan it out ahead of time. So decide on your email content, what's gonna be, write it down, what's gonna be in your emails each week, plan it out ahead of time. But gonna give you an hour to make that plan. You might even be able to start writing some of it in that hour, right? Plan your social media posts. Okay, so we've got our, we've planned our events, we've planned our email content, our social media posts are going to support all of the rest of that that we're doing. Any recurring social media posts, stuff like, like for example, at WizBank Training, every Friday we do Retailer of the Week. So I would pick those for the month. Um, do you have to create posts for any promotions and events that are coming up? Do you wanna highlight some new products that are coming in? Um, any relationship building posts, like we try to do a Wednesday hump day humor post with a funny retail sign, that's what one of the things we like to do. And then you have time that you can add in spontaneous. So it might look something, uh, or I'm gonna pass here. Hold on, oh, I must have missed my, can you go back a couple for me? 
right? Well, okay, great, thanks. So, uh, so that you're gonna create this, um, this calendar that, uh, that shows all of your social media posts. Does that make sense? And then figure out, again, who's gonna post it? Are you gonna schedule it ahead of time? What's the link that you need? And if you just write this down all ahead of time, then you don't have to do all of your social media posting, but you know what's gonna be happening. So if you plan this out ahead of time, um, it's, it's really, it's easy to do. Um, you can use this, this uh, WhizBang content generator matrix. You can use this for your emails too, by the way, but this was designed for social media. Um, across the top, things that are useful, interesting, funny, inspiring, controversial, and then about your products and events. Uh, maybe a text post, image post, video post, or links. So there's, whoops, over 100 different ideas up there that you can use to plan out your social media posts. You'll get this in your, in your um, pages, okay? Two hours to do that. Uh, one hour to plan any other advertising that you're gonna be doing, um, whether it's social media advertising, if you're gonna create any direct mail pieces, um, your in-store posters, flyers, signs, things like that. Again, we're not gonna necessarily be creating all of this, but we're going to be planning it out. Who's doing it, when is it due, and what is it that needs to get done? Maybe it's, you know, I need to contact the graphic, graphic designer, I've got to place the ad with the newspaper guy, and you know, what, what, are, what are all the other advertising things that you need to do? If you write that down in a page, that should take about an hour. Last thing to do is uh, website review and updates. So the last thing I want you to do is review all of your web stats. Click through every page on your website. When's the last time you did that? Actually cl clicked through every page on your website and checked your links. What needs to be deleted? What needs to be changed and what needs to be added? Write it down. What, who's gonna do it, and when? Forty-five minutes for that. Last thing to do is to meet with your team. Take an hour at the end of this day and meet with your team. Now you have all of your documents. You have your vision papers for your events. You have the list of what you want your email content to be. You know what social media posts are gonna be happening throughout uh, the month. You know what kind of advertising that you need to do. So now, you've, now you wanna meet with your team. Maybe you're meeting with them all together in one room at this time. You set up an hour at the end of the day to have this meeting. Maybe you're taking this hour and you're taking phone calls, 15 minute phone calls with different, uh, different parts of your team that need to help you get this work done. Review the month, delegate the work, Set the expectations, this is what I expect. This is really important, set the expectations and then answer any questions that they might have. Does this make sense? Eight hours, eight hours. This is a lot of work, but you need to be willing to do the work that your competitors aren't. Just think about how much marketing you could do if you spent this eight hour time slot every single month creating this plan and setting it into motion with your team. Yeah? Anybody doing anything like this right now? Raise your hand if you're doing this. Some of you are, that's great. That's fantastic. All right, so I just gave you eight, an eight hour plan, right? You did it. And I did it too. Made it in time. Yeah, Celeste, you've got a question. Uh huh. You go back to Bob's calendar. Yeah. There was two hours for a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Celeste, the shorter it is, the harder it is to get right. right? That's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> Uh, you know, I was going to say that. How come she's showing my my calendar? It's just because 
Because you're the only one that puts your scheduled focus day on the calendar. It was <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, you know, what I found was that you know, you, your, your life can get chewed up. How many of you feel that way, that your time can totally get chewed up? You know, and most years we do a productivity program. And, you know, there's a whole module. And somebody was asking about the difference between the first retail mastery system and the second retail mastery system, the new one. The first one, you know, we just didn't, I didn't really focus much on productivity and really getting things done, mindset, things like that. But what I've realized and what we've realized is that being productive and staying focused and taking care of yourself and building a life around your business is such an important part of your success. So this is a, an example of the evolution that we've gone through as, as trainers. By, and, and that evolution has come from working with you know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of independent retailers like you. So, um, do we want to take one question, or do we want to go right, right to break? Let, let's take a question or two. Question, comment, take right away. Right back here. Oh, there we have June. Okay. It's a good thing Joe's fast. Uh, my question is, I'm hearing that email is so 2017 that um, consumers are using the PMs in Facebook more. Um, I did see... A sponsored ad on my messenger thing that is part of um, so maybe that would be an option too is possibly yeah so, so go ahead Susan. okay so yeah I mean yeah I mean sure that's another thing that you can do so your your question to, if I if I really understand the, the essence of your question you're asking me is email dead right. right dying it may be dying but its death is a long way off Okay, uh, do not underestimate the power of your email list. Here's the thing, folks, is you need to be communicating with your customers in many different ways, in multiple different formats. There are probably some people who are your customers who don't want to be hearing from you via email anymore. Fine, talk to them on Instagram. Talk to them on Pinterest. But I'm gonna go back to- Make a podcast for them, right? But. We have found over and over and over and over again that the, the most effective way to communicate with your customers still is via email. And the other thing I'm going to say is, you know, so don't get caught in the trap of the latest, greatest, bright and shining uh, object. So Messenger, what, Messenger, it's owned by Facebook. Don't count on Facebook. Anytime a service is free, be suspicious, right? Facebook is free, social media is free. Be suspicious. You are their product, right? So your information, your data, they're looking for ways to find, they're looking for ways to monetize you. Once you get them on your list, once you get them in your database, now you have a lot more control over the conversation. So, but now there's one other thing I want to say about email, and it's a great question, June, is it people is. say you. all the time, they go, uh, I don't want to bug my customers. I don't want to send too often. How many of you feel that? Like, you don't want to bug your customers. The problem isn't frequency. The problem is being interesting. If you can make your e emails fun and interesting, you can send four a day. As long as they're relevant and interesting. We saw that list up there. So the challenge isn't to, or the, opera, the, the thing is not to email less. The thing is to make your emails more interesting. More so that relevant, people more useful, open them more up. entertaining, Somebody in the business, who whatever. Was in, who was in the business breakthrough accelerator program that was, oh, it was, uh, was getting an 82% open rate. It was you, Susan, wasn't it? 67. 67, 82. I'm the detail guy, right? 67% open rate, you know, just that. Yeah, fantastic. What that says is that she's doing a great job of selling revenue. Yeah, we've got to let them go. Okay. Wasn't that a great session? The people that were in the room, you should have seen and heard the buzz around that afterward. This is a great example of the super high quality, you know, information that you can use to build your business. So I'd like you to think about this for a moment. We have spent so much time on Zoom. We've lived in a pandemic world for the last two years. Imagine being in the room with four to 500 progressive, 
positive, growth-minded retailers. It's going to be absolutely awesome. And I guarantee you that if you're in the room with uh, everyone, that with me and Susan and everyone, that you will leave inspired. You will leave motivated. You will leave with a notebook full of notes. You will leave with an action plan that will help you grow your business to the next level. I just really, really, really am excited about this Retail Success Summit, and I hope that we will see you there. The link to register is down below. Register now and we'll see you in Grand Rapids.